because to the, looking at the state of the nation. Yes. How will you assess Muhammad Bari's administration? I want to start by saying that I was one of those who advocated for the ascendancy into power by, by President Buhari. I was in the forefront. In fact, I had a radio program that I was uh, running on the radio continent for four solid years. And they're reviewing, advocating, convincing Nigerians, especially my followers, that we need to have a change, especially with the experience we had with the previous government that was not doing well and Nigeria was not moving forward. And I felt that the best thing is to bring in Oshiba Jo, who is a professor of law as a vice president, and maybe uh, President Buhari himself, who has tried uh, three times and was not given that opportunity, maybe he has something to offer. So I was one of those that did the campaign in order for him to come in. From 2015 to date, I must tell you that I am not impressed. I'm not impressed with the output. I'm not impressed with leadership. Uh, and the promises they made, they have not been able to fulfill anyone to my... Of course, we are here now. There is no light. We are conducting this interview with generator. This is my office. Every day I burn generator from morning till I leave, I leave here. Every, um, virtually every day. You can't succeed in that way. I went to Ghana two years ago. Throughout my two weeks stay in Ghana, or ten days, there was no single minute or second light was taken. I'm talking out in Ghana, I'm not talking about America now, in two countries. Ghana. I've been to Ghana. Also, I've been to Liberia. And I don't think that light was, you know, the way frequently they take light here. For hours, you won't have light. As I say, every day I come here, you are here now. The light has not lasted 30 minutes, they took it. From this time now till I close work, you will be like that in darkness. So you can't run a country that way. So I had thought that there are certain things basically that the government of President Brary would have addressed on the basic infrastructures and all that. There's no, there's no improvement. If you tell you there's an improvement, it's a lie. Take out from, take, you're going to Abuja now from, from Lagos on the road and drive and see whether you can have uh, uninterrupted, you know, stoppage. I mean, a, a, a round to Abuja, I mean, by driving. The roads are bad. Get to Kogi and all those places, they are not passable. You may even be lucky if you survive without being attacked, you know, or being kidnapped on the road. I mean, these are promises he made up in tackling security, tackling basic infrastructures. There is no standard road you can claim today we have in any country. I mean, any state of Nigeria. There is none. There is none. You can say this is a standard road. I can take off now from Lagos as I'm going to east. Or, you know, from here to east is very good. It's something in the eastern region. It's something everywhere. So, is it, is it corruption they say they will tackle? You hear corruption all over the place. Yeah. Even the so-called the uh, 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 corruption czar, those who are fighting corruption, are involved in corruption, are involved in corrupt practices. So, they have not done well based upon the promises they made and based upon some of the you know, confidence we reposed upon them that they will change basically some of the narratives of the country. Nigeria has been very backwards in everything. Educationally, we know how much we spend in terms of billions sending our wars you know, to foreign countries. When I was in university, under the military, we used to have foreigners in the University of Nigeria and Soccer. Today, you'd be very fortunate to have any African student in any of our Nigerian universities. Then, is it on the health? As I speak to you, our president is abroad taking medical treatment on board. And of course, somebody now tells me because he had money and has been using foreign medical doctors. And now that he has become president, there is no way he can stop using it and all that. What kind of excuse is that? I don't know whether these guys hear themselves when they speak. How can you who promise to come and set up and revive our health care sector? be going abroad to go and take medical treatment and you are justifying it by saying when you were a private citizen, you had a doctor and you must continue to use that same doctor even when you become the president abroad, not even in Nigeria. And you want me to believe you that you came with intention to change anything and all that. There is no single, single hospital today you can walk in and see everything is in order. 
My uncle, the wife, just fell sick recently and they carried her to loot. No space. To lasso, no space. He had to go to a private university, you know, for medical treatment, Babcock, and come and see the bill. So, how can you have a country like that? For solid six years, he promised to change all the narrative. And today, some of those who are in government are not telling them the truth. They keep on telling that the Buhari that he has accomplished a lot, he has done this and all. There's nothing I'm seeing. So my assessment of him is that in every promise, in all the promises he made, there is no single promise he has actually fulfilled. He has not tackled insecurity. The economic situation is so bad. In fact, it's worse. The corruption index were not being rated you know, fairly. I mean, you know, better. We are still faring badly. And so there is no aspect. Basic infrastructures have not been, you know, put uh, into, you know, the educational sector. He went for educational summit in UK, according to him. And I hear what he said, that he's going to increase the, the, the budget. So he had to go to London in order to promise of increase. Why didn't he increase it before now? So, President Buhari failed me in every aspect, I must tell you. I'm not happy with his level of output. He didn't seem to understand the level of rot in the system before he came into governance. If he did, the level of his capacity maybe shouldn't have been the level it is. He has breached our laws. He's going 